So pie charts are a very nice way of representing data because it's quite easy to understand that uh, something with a larger slice of the pie has more. Okay, and it's quite easy to see which has the largest slice. So in this case, um, in this practical example that I'm going to start with, we're looking at 5,400 families and they were asked uh, what type of uh, food were they going to have in their Christmas meal. Okay, so we have turkey, chicken or goose. Okay, so I've gone for a bit of a more like 19th century kind of uh, Christmas meal, but this is uh, just to represent that you can see that the majority are going to have turkey. Okay, and then the next largest is chicken, and then the smallest is goose. Okay, that's quite clear. Other things that we need to be uh, mindful of, because this is the first bit that we've done with um, geometry and angles, we need to make sure that we understand that this little square represents 90 degrees. Okay, so we don't actually write 90 degrees, we can use this little square. You need to be able to identify that that's what that means. For all other angles, we use this uh, part of a circle, okay, this arc, and then the angle next to it, so in this case 120 degrees. You'll also notice that this angle doesn't actually have a number next to it, and that's because uh, this is a missing bit of information that we are going to have to find, or we may want to find, as part of answering this question. Now the actual question, and I haven't actually said what the question is, is the fact that we want to know how many families uh, are going to have goose, how many are going to have chicken, and how many are going to have turkey. So first up, we're going to look at goose. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to split this pie up into 360 pieces because all circles and the angles around a point have 360 degrees. Okay? 360 degrees all the way around. So we're going to take the 5,400 families and split this up into 360 pieces. And then, once I've got uh, it in 360 pieces, I want 90 of them. So I multiply that by 90. So 5,400 divided by 360 and times by 90. So 5,400 divided by 360 times by 90 is 1,350. So there are 1,350 families that are going to have goose. Now, an easier way of actually calculating this is to know that 90 degrees is clearly one quarter of the pi. So 90 degrees is a quarter of the pi. And so you could have just done 5,400 divided by 4 and get the same answer. Okay? So either of these calculations is perfectly fine. It's up to you which you use. Now we're going to have a look at chicken. For chicken, this is 120 degrees. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to split the 5,400 families up into 360 pieces, okay, and then multiply it by how many pieces I want, how many degrees. So multiply it by 120. So 5,400 divided by 360 times by 120 is 1,800. So 1,800 families are going to have chicken. Now, 120 degrees is also another one of those angles that it would be useful to know what fraction it is of the pi. Now, as we said, there are 360 degrees around a point. So, in actual fact, 120 degrees 
goes into 360 three times. And so, 120 degrees is one third of the pi. So it's useful to remember both of these. And so, we could have calculated this by doing 5,400 divided by 3 and to get the same answer. So 360 degrees, as you can see, is the magic number here. And the number to remember. So lastly, we want to work out how many went for Turkey. Now, we don't have an angle here, but we can work it out, because we could do 360 degrees, the whole uh, angle, take away the 120, take away the 90, so 360, take away 120, take away the 90, means that I've got 150 degrees left. So, I could do 5,400, split it up into 360 pieces, and multiply by 150. So 5,400 divided by 360 times 150 is 2,250. So you could do it that way, or the easier way is Knowing that there's 5,400 families, and that 1,350 were going to have goose, and 1,800 were going to have chicken, that means what is left would be the 2,250. And so we wouldn't have needed to work out this angle or do this calculator job. Okay? So... There are going to be multiple ways of solving the same problem. And it is useful to remember that 90 degrees is a quarter of a circle, 120 degrees is a third. Okay? Another one that's very useful is 60 degrees, which is a sixth. Okay? So I'm just throwing that in there as well as one to remember.